Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to Dead Island Riptide and today we're going to be continuing with some side quests. <coughs> what we're going to be doing is we are going to be doing uh, Dr. Jane's side quest. Unfortunately, I don't particularly want to be doing it because it involves going to the Dead Zone Lonely Cave, but we are going to be continuing and doing that. And then we're also going to be doing Maggie's side quest and White Line for Bruce. So that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be very much in this area of the map for today. So, to avoid taking the boats, I'm going to be taking the car, and I'm just going to drive... Oh. Really? Really? Really, guys? Are you really going to be doing this? Okay. Oh, and you... Uh, this is a brilliant start, isn't it? All I wanted to do was get to the car and drive away, and I've now had to fight two infected and, like, Three walkers. That's a brilliant start. Run, run, run. There you go. Okay, so to avoid taking the boat, I am taking the car. And we'll just get out of the car. And the car will despawn anyway, as with the boat, as soon as we get into Lonely Cave. So... Oh, hello, infected. So... Yeah, it doesn't really matter what medium we take to get there. Uh, there's a couple of ways that we could get to this. Um, normally, I would possibly fast travel to Mataka Village, although Mataka Village does not have the fast travel unlocked yet. Which, kind of a shame, but hey, never mind. Run over you. Run over you. Uh, instead, we'll just continue here. Yep, yeah, run over you. So... Yeah, I would normally either fast travel to Mataka Village or even to Kessler's Biosphere. However, we don't have Kessler's Biosphere unlocked yet. That's the wrong way. That's into Marek's Marina, which we don't want to do. You can get to it from Marek's Marina, although I advise not doing that. Instead, we can get to it from the waterways, which is where I'm going to be going from. So, if we come over here... Uh, I think it's from... Yeah, yeah. So this is where I'm going to be getting out the car. This is the last time we'll see the car for now. And I'm going to go over here and I'm just going to get to it via the water. We can not worry about the drowners. The drowners shouldn't pay attention to us. If we don't pay attention to them, we'll stick to the edges. And unfortunately, this one's going to be a bit of an annoyance, but it's okay. He's not a real one. He's a dead body. And here we are back at Marek's Marina. Lovely. Oh boy, do I love this area. Thank you, Techland, for this beautiful area. However, skirting around the side, we should avoid entering the detection range of the infected. Yes, it looks like we have. We have got sonic pulse grenades, and we're going to enter Lonely Cave. So, sonic pulse grenades, they're our best friend. Especially for dead zones. Can't be far. There we go. So, Spiteful Staff... Uh, that's interesting. Um, unfortunately, I don't have a lot of them. I do have some Shock Bombs, which I could use, actually. So, maybe we'll use this. Yeet. Okay, not as effective as I was hoping. There you go. This has got the drug infected, though. You're just a regular walker. Good thing I still have the staff. Uh, savage metal baseball bat. There's the mushrooms. Well, one of them at least. That's a thug. Just going to shock bomb you. That got him. And he's not having a particularly fun time. Shock bomb, definitely not as effective as I was hoping it would be. Luckily, the staff is. I wish I had a better mod to put on this thing than the barbed wire mod, but hey, it's doing work against the thug. And he should bleed out. Yes, he did. He dropped a crappy wrench. That's no use. Okay, so we're looking for glowing mushrooms. And glowing mushrooms are down there. Now what else is down there? Yet more infected. So I'm just going to yeet that over there. And 
might as well to do something. Yep, there you go, that caught them all. Uh, whenever you're in one of these cave dead zones, there's always zombies. Uh, always, like, a bunch of infected down this backing hallway thing. Um, so, yeah, always watch out for that, which is why I yeeted a shock bomb over there, and that killed them. Um, normally it would have been a sonic pulse grenade, but without easy access to sonic pulse grenades for now, we don't have the blueprint, nor do we have access to any of the crates, which will give them out to us. Um, but yeah, without any of them, we can't do anything. Uh, there's a handbow here, a couple of fruits, duct tape, aluminium tube, yes, we'll take that, blade, we'll take that as well. Don't step into the fire. Uh, is there really only one rare mod item here? Man, ow, I said don't go into the fire, SMB. Luckily there's fruit. Okay, looks like there's only one rare mod item here. That's kind of sucky, I'm not going to lie. Yep, there's only one. Brilliant. Oh well, um, we at least collected all of the stuff that we need, and we can now leave. Yep. We can exit back here, and we haven't really lost anything because we simply drove here. And in order to turn in the side quests, we're just going to head back to Halai after all this is done, because Bruce is there after all. Um, yeah, Bruce is still in Halai, and Jane is, Dr. Jane Hansen still in Halai, so that's why we've got to turn in our side quests anyway. We could just come back down here, avoid all the infected that are in Merrick's Marina, and the drown drowners shouldn't care about us either. As you can see, there's far less of them. They've obviously spawned in different locations this time. Uh, but good, that's nice and easy. So the next thing to do is head to the treehouse, which actually we're just going to drop into the water from this direction and continue on our way, because none of this water is too deep, I don't think. Uh, we can literally stand in the middle of the middle of it here and we're perfectly fine um, but yeah we're just gonna do what uh, this is what I normally do yeah th this is what I normally do whenever I'm needing to traverse the waterways of Riptide I just I just leg it I don't bother with the boat it's possibly a bit slower but it's far less um, stressful so Maggie's treehouse is here we need to go around So we'll come around this way. There's drowned drowners here. They just yep. Ha. Ah. As you can see, the the crosshair is locking onto them like they are a attackable target. So I think that's how you can tell if an a drowner is real or not because the crosshair will try and lock onto it, which I'm not sure it does with dead bodies. Gather. Punched her in the face. Uh, let's just see, so this one it's locking on to, and yep, he's a real one. So, the theory works, I'm not going to press it. It worked once, I'm therefore taking that as 100% proof. And there's the first tree house. So, there's three different areas we need to travel to. Who? Oh, hello. So yeah, there's three different areas we need to travel to for Maggie's side quest. Uh, are you a real one? Yes, you are. Of course you are. Uh, there's a tree house, there's the camping area, and there's a cave. Uh, and that's the first three for Maggie's side quest. And then we get to Henderson, and there's one more location. So it's a very long side quest. Uh, it's one that you take sort of early in the game when you first meet Maggie. You do it as you do other things around the flooded jungle. And it's sort of one of those side quests that you progress in the background. So, alcohol, molotov, throwing knife, cash, there's the ripper mod, that's what we're talking about. And there should be a note for Maggie around here somewhere. There you go. Here it is. Here it is. Maggie, we made it to the treehouse. We have plenty of food and supplies. Tomorrow we're going west. We really hope we can find more permanent shelter. Those things can't be everywhere. And there you go. So the next camp is all the way over here, which is also where we get the Master Chef. So I'm not going to do that for now because we can hit that later on. Um, 
we can hit that later on uh, when we go over there for a main quest. Uh, so, yeah, for now, we're just going to go here. We're going to do white line for Bruce, which is conveniently very close to Maggie's side quest. This is why you take all the side quests when you first get them, because you can hit multiple of them at the same time. It uh, cuts down on travel time and having to retrace your steps doing uh, going to places over and over again. So, yeah, we're going to come over here and come up here. There's a de dead guy there. There's a, a not dead lady here. Stomp. Crunch. Lovely. Yeah, nothing. It's okay. He's uh, inside the house. Frail baseball bat. You're not dead. Thank you. So, who's in here? Uh, there's a guy called... Uh, I think he's called Mr. Dead. If I'm remembering correctly. And he is a... Yep, there he is. He's a toxic infected. He's called Mr. Dead. You might have just saw his name pop up. And because he is a toxic infected boss, he's incredibly susceptible to fire. Which, as you can see from me lobbing a Molotov and instantly killing him. So, yeah. We didn't get anything from him, unfortunately. Uh, but we can at least now explore his house. And, I mean, the good thing about having a fire weapon like this is that it acts as a... It acts as a torch, which is kind of handy, and it will be handy for the Japanese tunnels later. But we're looking for drugs. We can't find any. There's a thing down... Oh, that's, that's not... That's the console. Um, there's a thing down here. Which we can investigate. We can drop down here. And there's this fake dead body. There's also this very real playing dead zombie. Stomp, crunch. And there's another one here. Stomp. Crunch. Lovely. Take that. Take the med kit. There's one of the secret files. And a lockpick. Level 2. Unfortunately, nothing too interesting. Only some badass brass knuckles. Uh, reused uh, chemicals bottles from Dead Island, if you remember. Um, there's the real drugs. Man, I can't let him kill himself. I give him that glucose instead. And we can now take the fake drugs. Lovely. So, the heroes have had a change of heart since uh, the last time they gave a guy drugs in the prison, apparently. Uh, possibly that's what causes them to take the fake drugs. But now it's just the case of getting back to Bruce. Nice and simple. And we're going to go here. Barbecue shovel, we'll repair that. Do we have baseball bat? Yes, we do. It's only frail, though, so it's not worth it. Um, okay, we do still have this golf club. Can we do anything with the golf club? We could diamond edge, liquid fire, torch, lightning. We can lightning heavy wrench it, but... Well, or rather, lightning heavy wrench the heavy wrench. We can shock mod it. Mm, can't impact it. Yeah, I'll leave it for now. What's the quest's given us? White line gives us cash, that gives a tanto, that gives large med kit. Yeah, okay. We're not going to get any mods from those guys. Any team quests? Uh, only Colonel Hardy. Mm. Damn, okay. Never mind. Um, oh, there's Peter Spicer's check. Okay, this is just a, a random bungler. Okay, cool. Uh, okay, so. Yeah, it's just back to high. Very very nice and very simple. Uh, we could go to the Bray outpost here, but I think I'll go to this later on. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll take you guys there later on. I don't feel like doing it right now. I really will just want to turn in these side quests, uh, and then it'll be main quest time after this. We can talk to Marcus Via and do that for him, so... Yeah, that'll be that'll be fun. So the way we're going to get back is we'll go here, I guess. Yeah, yeah, we'll go here. We'll go back to 
the Crossroads Bungalow. And uh, the Zimakani Rest, that's the way we'll go. Uh, I mean, it involves going to a floater and some infected. But it's the more direct route to uh, Halai. So that's that's the way we're going to go. I mean, we might avoid the floater. Although, saying that, I do need floater meat. How much floater meat do I have on me? Two. What are you doing? Get out of there. You aren't meant to be there. But yeah, if we can kill the floater, we can get possibly a floater meat from him, which would be useful for Trevor. Because then Trevor will sell better things, and then if we can get him up to level 3, he will sell legendary golf clubs for us. Hello, friend. Yep. You're a real one? Yes, you are. You're obviously a real one. You really can't do anything if I just kite around you, do you? If I, if I turn ever so slightly, you just don't know what to do. Oh, okay, he dropped another heavy wrench. That's good. Um, yeah, that's that's good. The f uh, frail baseball bat. You can go. Although, I probably should have taken the Tijuana machete and dropped it, but never mind. So, okay. Floater didn't drop a weapon, uh, or didn't drop a floater meat, but he did drop a weapon, which is just as well. Perhaps we can buy... Bruce will become a merchant, by the way, for completing the side quest. So, that's a good thing about doing this for Bruce. He will sell us things. And he might sell us floater meat, I can't remember. But we can at least just come down here. And uh, what should we use? Uh, we'll use the lightning hammer. We haven't used this before. And we have it, and we haven't used it because we've leveled up far too quickly. So, yeah, that's, that's fun, isn't it? But there we go. It works just as you would expect. It's a lightning heavy hammer. Or just a, rather just a regular lightning hammer. What, what would you expect? Uh, we'll use the staff on this guy. Ow. He didn't like that. Bleeding for 300. That's very nice. Do a bit more. And he's dead. 1800 cash. We'll say that. We're up to $2200. 2200 cash. All very nice. Infected. You're not very nice. Get out of it. Yoink. 35 cash. Uh, let me just check. Tiring bounces, pal. Not interested. Not interested. We're going to go talk to Bruce. We're going to give him that glucose. Which he'll definitely love. And then we'll go talk to Dr. Jane, and then that'll be it for this episode. It should be a bit of a shorter episode, but it will have been rather productive. Although, eh, actually, we might we might just go back to Paradise and turn in the side quest for Samuel Hardy. Uh, nothing much. Hello, Brucey. How's it going, my friend? Here's some glucose. Oh, fuck yeah! Rock and roll! Woo! <laughs> okay, here, take it. Take all of it. <sighs> he went. He went straight in to do it. Pretty He's awesome, isn't it? Strong brass knuckles. Uh, anyway, you're not selling anything. I'm not selling anything good. Okay, you can have these bronze knuckles that I got from Dave, and I'll take your alternative bronze knuckles that are exactly the same. <laughs> Just a higher rarity. Or a higher level, rather. Yep. Okay. Lucky we dodged that, because he just threw his weapon at me, which wasn't very nice of him. Take that. Block weapons up to level 6. Very nice. Get out of it. Is there a floater here? No, there's a thug. He didn't like that. Oh, he doesn't like that. Okay, we interrupted his attack. That's fine. Now, get out of the way. 
There you go. That's th that's the 300 we're looking for. Ow. And we leveled up. Just as well, because I just got punched hard for some damage. And he dropped 2,000 cash. Lovely. And it's time to come up here. And we did level up again, so we can come here. We'll take that, and then we'll take the final blunt weapon skill, and then we can start going back through the skill tree and seeing what else we want to pick up. So, Flimsy X, not interested. Maggie, I'm trying. Your friends are being rather elusive. Uh, you're selling meat, not floater meat. It's unfortunate. I will, however, take a couple of them from you. Thanks very much. And you can have that, and that in return, and that handbow. Thank you very much. Um, uh, the hammer, I kind of want to anything? keep, but at the same time, I kind of don't. Uh, Rose, oh, Rose is downstairs, that's right. So, after you heal up Rose, she will be downstairs with Maggie. There she is. As you can see, she's perfectly fine. Uh, now we can go here, talk to Jane. She'll become a merchant. Just a moment while I prepare the medical kit. Okay, I'll give her a moment. There you go. There you are. This will help you keep your health up. Thank you for the large med kit, and she now sells medical supplies. Unfortunately, that does not include floater meat. Rather annoyingly, but hey, what can we do with that? Uh, maybe somebody else will. Flimsy crowbar. Not interested. And we'll go talk to Marcus Via because there's nothing else more for us to do, really. You are truly a blessing from the gods. And now I will help you. There are Japanese bunker Santanos from World War II scattered across the island. And some of them should be accessible. One of the tunnels will lead you to a highway that directly connects to Henderson. I have maps in my hut in the jungle near a village. One of them will show you the way. Why the fuck you keep your stuff in the jungle? I live to serve the people of Halai. But they prefer to live near the natives. I draw such strength from them. They have a rich culture and I have learned so much. So much hidden knowledge, you see. Uh, but I ramble on. You must be in a hurry to leave. And here we go. Yeah. I wish you luck, my friend. So these guys are in... Oh, there's a secret file. Yoink. So, these guys are in the Mataka village hut. Here we go. Which is where we kept on seeing the uh, pop-up for a merchant. And uh, it is true there is a merchant there. Uh, it's going to be a bit convoluted, though, for us. But, hey, that's part of the Riptide experience. Talking of the Riptide experience, flimsy Tijuana machete. Nothing much. Uh, hello, Henry. You can have this lightning hammer. Have fun with that. Um, yeah, have fun with that. Yoink, Molotov. The WHO is working on a cure for the who? We just need to hold on a bit longer. Yeah, flag on ammo. But we really want Samuel Hardy. There he is. Aluminium tube. We start losing hope and we'll lose everything. Uh, don't worry about the fact that I keep on giving this stuff away. Um, the rare mod items aren't actually used for anything other than these team quests, so... Wayne, are you selling anything? Molotov Blueprint? Didn't realise you had that on you, but hey. Yeah, mo merchants can sell blueprints. Um, I completely forgot about that. Uh, oh, she's selling a defective pistol. That's something. It's not something I want, but it's something. Uh, Trevor, are you selling floater meat? It'd be really ironic if you were, because I could then just give them back to you. But no, you're not. Damn, that's a shame. Okay, we'll have to go looking for floaters a different time. I'm sure we'll find it. I'm sure we'll find some more floaters somewhere, and we can do some stuff with that. Uh, but for now, I'm going to leave this episode here. We completed a couple of things, and it's now back onto the main quest. Um, do I want to do some mods first? Uh, you want to... You don't sell mods, do you? No. Uh, large nail. Okay. Uh, so, what do we want to make here? I'm thinking we might want to diamond edge one of these things. Um, possibly the crowbar. 
So I think we'll do that. Unfortunately, don't particularly want to, but we have to do something with it. So upgrade it. We need some more upgraded weapons anyway. Um, Molotov, no shock. Mm, we should probably use this golf club best sooner than later. And I think the shock mod is the best we're going to get for now. Yeah, because we can't impact it. And lightning, we can't do either. So I think shock golf club is a waste, but we've got to use that golf club. It's a legendary weapon. We've got to use it at some point. So that should be good for now. There's the golf club. Lovely. Um, Golf Club, if you remember, made a miraculous return in Dead Island 2. Uh, I like putting the Razor mod on it because it basically chops off the head and puts basically just a knife in its place, which looks very funny, but it's also incredibly good. But we don't have the Razor mod yet, so yeah, unfortunate. But hey, we're going to put that there, and we're going to put the Diamond Edge Crowbar there. There you go, that's looking lovely. And yeah, so I'll thank you all for watching, and goodbye.